Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is April 12th, 2019. This is my second episode about pointer, a reference, a constant in C and C++, possibly in C++. If you haven't watched my previous video, please click this link. I will put the link in the description section below. In this episode, we will learn about difference between declarator and operator. Do not get confused about declarators and operators. Declarators can be used to declare an object. Operators can be used with expressions or object. Declarators can be used to typecast. Operators can be overloaded. Declarators for declaration and typecasting. Operators used with expression and can be overloaded. So far, so good. But C++ is not this simple. C++ language is more complicated. How to tell declarators from operators? Declarators always follows the type. English is not my mother tongue. English word follow was a lot confusing to me. For example, in the sentence a follows B, which comes first? B comes before A. For example, if I say follow me, I am saying you follow me. That is, I go before you or you go after me. Declarators always follow the type. The type always precedes the declarator. INTN, an instance of type int. INT pointer PTR is a pointer pointing to an int N The star follows type int star is a declarator The ampersand does not follow a type. The ampersand 
is not a declarator. It is an operator. Address of operator. INT ampersand ali app PTR. The ampersand follows the type int. It is a declarator. The star does not follow a type. It is an operator. The reference operator. You might argue why does it matter declarator or operator? Concrete understanding helps you avoid unnecessary confusion. INTN INT reference Ali app and Oro P Aliyap. What is the type of P? The ampersand does not follow a type. It precedes an expression aliyap. So the ampersand is address of operator, which returns the address of aliyap. which in turn references to an int n, which effectively returns the address of n. So p is initialized with the address of n of type int p is a pointer pointing to an int this is the same like this int point of p n now compare this with this one auto p ali f auto q int ali f what is the type of Q. Since the ampersand follows a type int, int ampersand is a typecast for L value reference. So, Oro Q, Oro Q, 
int reference ref means int reference q n The misery starts with misunderstanding. Oro is not designed this way. Keyword Oro always, always, always. Creates a new instance using copy constructor. So auto q int reference ref creates a new instance of type int using copy constructor that is q is a new instance of type int copying the contents of aref auto q int reference ref is equivalent to int q ref if you intended to create a reference to n then you have to explicitly use reference declarator with keyword auto as below auto q int reference ref now int q ref Keyword auto has a serious limitation. To overcome this limitation, C14 standard introduced DECL type auto. Auto int reference ref is equivalent to the ECL type auto q ref this and this are equivalent also, this is equivalent to this auto q ref. The best way for any learning is experiment. I will give you a homework. Find out the type of each variable int n 5 int ptr n 
int reference ref n or a ptr or b ref or c ptr or d pointer reference ref or e1 ptr or e2 ref e3 e4 a1 b1 c1 d1 DECL type or what are the type of these things? E1, E2, A, B, C, D and E3, E4, A1, B1, C1, D1 Some of these may not work or even may not compile then disable that part of the code first use your reasoning faculty to find out the answer then confirm with real experiment using talk play fun get type category I will create a source code for you Start your file explorer, create a working folder, declarator, operator. Double click the folder path, copy, right click your command prompt, properties, paste the folder path, click OK, then start your Visual Studio code. File, open folder, paste, Select folder. No more confusion. CPP. Include talk play file. Type HPP. Void tell types. Click this button here. CPP extension dir then save all close it include io stream okay the skigal is gone copy this text copy paste int main call this function Now let's compile. You can use Microsoft Compiler CLEHSC. No more confusion. CPP FE MEXE. It compiled successfully. We are using GNU Compiler G. No more confu confusion. CPP or GEXE. With the clan CLANG. I would say C. Currently, it does not display any message. If you want 
to display the type of N, you can do like this. STD, Cout, the type of N, talk play fun, get type category N. STD, and there. The type of PTR, PTR. I will disable this part for the time being. Then you can copy like this way. You can fill the code, then test what's the type of each element. I will build once again with clang. Okay, the type of n is int. The type of n is int. What are the type of other elements, other variables? First, first, use your reasoning faculty. How do I spell faculty? Faculty. Use your reasoning faculty to find out. Then double check using talk play pun get type category. Of course, you have to install C++ library extension visit this website extension talkplayfun.com from this website download and install the library by watching this video then you can get your answer. Please leave your answer in the comment section. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.